In this video today, I'll be showing you all how to install Windows XP on your M1, M2, or M3 MacBook Air using an application called UTM, which can be downloaded from the first link in the description, or if you'd like to support the developers, you can also find it on the Mac App Store for $10. And we are going to need quite a few files today in order to install Windows XP, which I will also have linked down below. Now the first of which is going to be the guide page of Windows XP installation, and you're going to want to go ahead and download this file here. That is the Windows XP template, which we'll use in UTM, which basically configures it all for us. Go ahead and open up the zip file it downloaded and double click Windows XP.UTM. Next up, we're gonna need to obtain a ISO file, which you can find by looking this exact thing up on the internet. It should come up as the first link. And it will be a .ISO file, which you can download from the internet archive by clicking the bottom link. While that ISO file is downloading, we're also going to need to download the Spice guest tools manually, which I will have as the third link in the description. And Windows XP doesn't download it automatically like Windows 11, so you're going to want to go ahead and download it manually from this link here. And save it to a Windows XP folder or somewhere easy to access. And if you want to access the internet on Windows XP through UTM, you're going to want to install an older web browser since Internet Explorer doesn't really have any functionality anymore as most of the sites don't load on it, which UTM actually provides a Firefox installer here, which I will also have linked down below. Now that our ISO file is downloaded, we can go ahead and go over to CD DVD drive in the bottom of the UTM setup window, click on browse. Then locate it and select open. Now we can go ahead and attempt to boot our Windows XP virtual machine here. And we can go ahead and select the 20 gigabyte drive that the UTM template automatically created for us. And similar to the other Windows 11 and other machines I've shown on my channel, the Windows XP installation will only take up the space it needs. 20 gigabytes is just a possible allocation it could fully use if it needs to. Select NTFS file system quick, and it's gonna go ahead and start to move the Windows XP ISO files over to your drive. Now we can continue with the normal Windows XP setup here. Click next, type in a name. You can give the computer a password if you'd like. Select your time zone. Select this computer is not in a network. You can just type in a letter or something and click next. Once it's done booting, click OK, click OK again, click Next, select Protect this PC, click Next, and it won't be able to connect to the internet yet, internet yet since we haven't installed the drivers, skip that, no, don't register, enter a name again, and now we can go to the desktop. Now we can go ahead and install our Spice Guest Tools, which we can do by ejecting the Windows ISO from the CD drive, which can be done at the top of the screen. Then select the CD again, and now go to Change, and then select the Spice Guest Tools we downloaded earlier, click on Open, then open up File Explorer. Select My Computer, select UTM, and then Double click the Spice Guest Tools. Click Next, I agree. And now it should go ahead and start installing them. Once those are done installing, click Finish. And go ahead and shut down the machine. Now go back into UTM and we can remove the ISO file from the CD DVD drive. This next part's optional, but if you'd like to install Firefox on your Windows XP virtual machine, you're gonna have to create a ISO file since the file sharing does not seem to be working right now between the host computer and the virtual computer. And to do that on Mac, it's actually fairly simple. 
all you have to do is open up terminal and what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to create a new folder you can call whatever you'd like and you're going to want to put whatever you want to be transferred to the windows xp virtual machine within that folder and basically what we're going to do is we're going to turn that folder into a iso file which we can insert into the cd drive of the windows xp virtual machine and the command to turn this folder into an iso file is hdi util make hybrid dash iso dash j o i l e t dash o and then go ahead and give it a file name i'm just going to call it firefox.iso and then you basically just want to drag and drop the iso folder into terminal and then press enter and it'll go ahead and make the iso file just like that for you and this file is going to be located under your computer macintosh hd users u and it'll be at the very top if you select date modified as the soonest now if you'd like you can copy that to your downloads folder so it's easy to find and now what we can do before we boot up the virtual machine is go over to CD, DVD drive in UTM, click browse and locate the ISO file we just created and click open. And now we can go ahead and run the Windows XP virtual machine again. And this time it should show up in File Explorer as a CD. And since we've installed our Spice Guest tools, we also have Wi-Fi and display drivers now. So we can go ahead and put this into full screen and we can go ahead and resize the display real quick by going to properties settings and then you can select the size of your display then click apply and it'll automatically update for us now go over to the start menu my computer and you'll see the iso is in our removable drive here and there is the firefox setup go ahead and drag and drop that to the desktop and go ahead and run that click next you can choose your setup type install and then go ahead and launch it now and if you'd like, you can also eject the ISO we created. We no longer need that. And there we go. We now have Windows XP installed on our M1 Mac, along with a working internet browser and updated display drivers. So thank you for watching, and I plan on making some more of these videos soon, so make sure to stay tuned.